Today we're back with another community member gameplay review. Now, first things first, if you want to potentially have your gameplay reviewed, make sure you check the comments down below and follow the instructions on how to submit your gameplay. So today we're going to be breaking down gameplay that was submitted by John Mark. He is a console player with a 1.31 overall KD and a 1.5 weekly KD. Just a reminder, the average rebirth KD right now is around a 0.97. And we're really going to be paying attention to my two main console tips. First is going to be stay outside of the 5 to 7 meter range. That is where you are most susceptible to getting your camera broken. Second is going to be you have to use information to your advantage. Use audio cues, use your mini map, check your mini map when you hear shots being fired to get information, which he does perfectly right here. He sees one right on his level right here, and I want to talk about playing with momentum. In this situation, he's going to be able to get the first player down, which allows him to immediately challenge that second player. He's going to hit his shots, and he's going to be able to get the team wipe, right? So he gets that first down. I, that guy was a bullet. I get it. But he now immediately challenges the second player, slides around that corner, creates that window of opportunity to get the clean and easy team wipe so he gets two kills this is going to be his new pr game that we are taking a look at his previous pr was 17 he drops 21 kills in this duo game right here so like i was saying use information stay outside the five to seven meter range because that's where you're most susceptible to getting your camera broken now he's going to go ahead he's kind of looting up here doesn't really have a ton of information of course trying to find enough money for loadout which they are very close what they should they actually have enough so they should stop what they're doing right now and go buy loadout why his teammates actually going to die here in a second which means they then lose loadout there's a bunch of people here one down below so he's got a challenge he sees the guy right in front so he's going to go ahead and challenge around the corner able to get the down able to get the thirst right there notice his people are all around now another quick tip that i have for you and let me go ahead and pull this back right here is just centering your crosshairs notice he's centering where he thinks that person's going to end up and the other one that I have for you is to un-ADS. You're going to see it right here. He does a great job of when you are on console and you are in a position where your camera is potentially going to get broken to hip fire whatever gun you have, whatever gun, AR, LMG, SMG, whatever it is, go ahead and hip fire it. Take advantage of that dynamic. So yes, that guy's only a bullet, but he's able to hip fire. He's able to get the down and get the thirst. Notice that one is above him somewhere. Got four kills, and this isn't going to be any crazy pace. He's just going to, this lobby's going to stay healthy. He's going to consistently execute. He's going to stay alive. He's going to do what he has to do. Now, he sees one down this way, and he's able to hit all of his shots here in a second. He's going to see a guy straight down lane. Guy rotating downstairs, so he's going to go ahead and push that way a little bit. Try to see what he can find. Not really sure. Notice he's keeping his distance well. He does a great job of two things. Keeping his distance and centering his crosshairs throughout this gameplay. Challenges that guy right there. He's going to push out. He's going to perfectly anticipate where this guy's going to be. Takes a little bit of damage, but he's able to get that kill right there. One up above. And this is kind of where I talk about intentionally versus unintentionally farming. This lobby stays live. He doesn't intentionally farm teams, but because people are flying away, they're elsewhere. He doesn't actually risk team wiping. Now he goes ahead. He keeps pushing here. Should have grabbed that satchel one right there. So he's going to go ahead and push. Take advantage of the fact that this guy's broken. And notice he has his crosshairs out right here. He doesn't get it caught in attack sprint. He's able to get the down, get the thirst. So very well executed thus far. One place that John Mark does a great job is he does hit shots very well. He's very consistent, especially with his horizontal aim, staying inside the frame of the body. And at longer range, he does a great job of hitting those upper torso shots, which you are going to see right here. He's going to use strafing to his advantage as well. Use that rotational aim assist. He's going to keep challenging, keep moving till he can get that window. And notice he just hits all of his shots there. Really good shots with the MP40. We talk floor loot comfort ability being comfortable with you know those guns you find early he's clearly very comfortable with that mp40 now he gets shot from behind he's going to go in and challenge almost gets that guy down buys himself enough time to be able to get behind cover now he's going to go ahead and play up his teammate ended up thirsting him now you got another team that's right around the corner here seven kills still 16 teams he sees this one out here notice he keeps his distance he's not in a position to get his camera broken right here he's able to get the down and thirst and look we take advantage of third partying especially in solos and duos obviously in trios and quads it gets a little bit tougher because in third party situations in trios and quads you're talking about six to eight people in duos and trios it's or duos and solos it's very simple to third party this is the one spot that he dies here and notice it's because he doesn't stay outside of that range i don't hate this push but this guy plays this well he gets his camera broken right there. This guy's outside the frame of his camera, which gives that guy the window of opportunity that he needs to get John Mark down. Now, unfortunately, this guy just gets him with a throwing knife. 
is what it is. He's going to die. He's going to fly back in on loadout. And there's a few things that I would change about this situation right here. But console players, biggest thing for you that I still want to reiterate, I get asked all the time, what do I do on console? Stay outside of that five to seven meter range. If you are in that range, you kind of have two options. Hip fire whatever gun that you had, like I mentioned earlier, or throwing knife. Use throwing knives. The thing with being that close to somebody and kind of where you can use that FOV to your advantage is if that person is taking up a large majority of the screen, you are not going to miss whatever you're doing. You're not going to miss your hip fire. You're not going to miss your throwing knife. So go ahead and use that to your advantage. Now he's got 4,300. He's got plates. I'd be really tempted to hit communication tower right here. Right there, you kind of get the radar jammer to go away, at which point you're in a good spot. But he's got cover here. So, yep. And look, they are that close to this game ending. Yes, sometimes games get closer than we'd like to, but he stays alive. His teammate revives him. And I would hit Communication Tower right here. Get a good sense of where everybody is. You know there's multiple teams around you. There's people below you in control. There's potentially that team rotating over from headquarters where he got down from. There's this team down below you. Go ahead and hit that. Now, he ends up getting the down right there. Can't quite get the thirst. That player could have, have self... But John's not really in a position to be able to go challenge this right now. He doesn't have a ton of plates. Teammates close by. You're giving up a lot of positioning. Yep, catches one right there. That's probably the guy who's self. And he gets an assist. And he, That's probably the guy that was flying in. Still would hit communication tower right here. And he does a great job throughout, the, uh, throughout control of really, you know, taking advantage of situations. By the way, if you are looking to get better rebirth, just consider hitting that subscribe button down below. My whole goal is just to help you become a better rebirth player. I do videos every single day. I live stream on YouTube four days a week. So if you want to know when I'm posting and going live, make sure you turn on that notification bell. Now, he's going to go ahead and challenge down below here really well. Sees this guy right here. Watch him challenge around this corner, right? So yes, he takes damage there, but watch how he slides around this corner and centers his crosshair. This is what you need to do on console to actually be ready for people. To... Point, to take FOV out, right? So notice that he's right in the frame of John's camera, which makes it an easy kill. A lot of you turn too late there, and you don't center well, and then you end up dying. Now, as he pushes up here, he's going to get this. Just absolutely torches that guy. Hits shots perfectly. Notices that one is up above. Now, his teammate does have plates, so his teammate's going to challenge first. John ends up playing this perfectly again notice how he centers he doesn't go challenge this he centers before he checks this corner before which allows him to get this kill and look that guy's only a bullet not our problem we take those kills those are the players that we don't want to die to that we need to execute on now yep john needs plates so he's going to go ahead and pull back i think his teammate comes that there were four over there yeah He's got 12 kills, still nine other teams up, still a very healthy lobby. John still has not recognized that he is on PR pace yet. He does a little bit later. He does about when he hits 17. Now he goes teammate down that way. So John's going to be unpredictable, or the enemies are over top of this side here. So John's going to go ahead and be unpredictable. Great play. By the way, he perfectly executes this situation watch how he keeps his distance throughout this fight he puts himself and he backs off actually of the team to open up that fov to keep that distance a little bit he's going to challenge around the corner good distance right there he's not in any position to get his camera broken now the other one's going to end up trying to push here so john pulls back right john pulls away from that guy to take out that player's opportunity to break his camera he's going to see what he can find He's just playing patient here. Now he challenges right here, and he's not in any position to get his camera broken. Yes, he has to track that very well. John plays this absolutely perfectly, and that's what I want to see more so from my console players of keeping in mind that positioning, not playing too over-aggressive. Yes, if I was on PC right there, i go and challenge that guy. I just kind of go. I put myself right on top of that guy. I break his camera or try to break his camera, but John, because he's on console, has to keep that FOV open. He wants to keep his distance, stay outside of that 5 to 7 meter range, which he does perfectly. He's got 14 kills. He knows there's one here. Definitely want to get UAV up here, figure out where everybody is. One up above on fat side, so John's going to go ahead and push over that way. His teammate goes down. His teammate's kind of in the blender, but John is doing well here of challenging enemies, staying alive, really putting himself in good positions, putting himself in good positions where he can get kills, but if he gets shot, he's not necessarily in a position to go down, and if he does go down, he at least has cover. He doesn't have self-revive. He should probably pick one up real quick. Self-revive in a UAV, especially now that he knows he's 
he's safe, right? So we pop that UAV, figure out who's around us, clear around us, at which point we can go back. Now he sees one right in front. Once again, watch him keep his distance right here. He's going to see this guy right here. Now, instead of just going and pushing, he's actually going to take the longer route. He's going to push around here. He's going to pop UAV. He's going to plate while he's moving and put himself in a position to actually get this kill. Now, notice how separated. This is what we're looking for. They're separated. He's going to challenge this guy in this crate or in the tent. Challenges perfectly. Takes no damage right there. The one thing I do want to say, by the way, John was the second best player in this lobby. I did look it up. John was the second best player. And why do I highlight that? John perfectly executed on this. John took advantage of the fact that he was a better player. Now, the window of... John being number two and somebody like me being number one is a greater difference, right? He's a 1.5 KD. I'm a 4 KD player. I know I talk about that a lot, guys. It's for credibility purposes. But, John, you know, there's still a lot of good players in this lobby. There's probably a lot of players that are similar to John's caliber. Now, he gets precision down from Stronghold. We do want to take note of that, that he is, you know, down at Stronghold, and there's a team over there. Do we need to worry about that guy just yet? No. Could that come into play a little bit later? Absolutely. He's got 16. By the way, I think he just realized that he was on PR pace. I think he just realized that he was on PR pace. And they have good positioning here. They have good positioning. There's still 10 other teams. I know John's itching to PR, right? So he's got to get two more kills. He gets shot from headquarters. Let's see who pushes. Right now, we're not really in a spot where you can challenge that team, right? They've kind of got high ground. If you get it down, you don't have anything to actually thirst them. He's going to go ahead and play position here, push over a little bit. You do want to be cognizant of the fact that if you do die here, respawn is disabled. As I talked about my video yesterday, if you didn't see my video yesterday on how to secure the win, what do we do once respawn disables to put ourselves in the best position possible to actually pick up the win? Yes, high kill games are great. What we're going to see here is John balances both. John drops 16 and now picks up another five kills during this end game based on positioning, putting himself in a really good spot. He's going to see what he can find. He knows these teams have to rotate down to him, and he can just kind of hold big living here. You know, I'm okay with you holding a building end game because of the fact that, look, we are playing positioning at this point. This is where the game switches. He challenges perfectly in here. Once again, notice the centering around the corner. Would like to see him centered a little bit higher. Notice that he's centered kind of on the guy's hips and on his legs. If he centers a little bit up higher, he hits more of those high damage areas early. Really gives him that advantage. Takes away even more of that 50-50. Now he knows he ties his PR at this point. He sees one dropping down here, and he's going to be able to hit shots perfectly. This is where we talk about, once again, John keeps his distance. He's able to use that to his advantage. Console players, you are in zero potential to get your camera broken right there. That's what I'm talking about. And he's able to hit shots. That's actually a good distance for you to be in. Now, the only thing I would say for John here... John gets a little bit over aggressive. I know John's pushing for PR here, but we still want to play the exact same way if we can. Still want to play the exact same way. Is it going to hurt him this time? No. Could it hurt him in a future time where he's trying to break his PR? Potentially. You know, you run into one team, you get third party, and you put yourself in a bad spot, and all of a sudden you're wishing that you didn't do that. Now he's got 20 right here. Everybody's down below. They have to rotate to him. They're going to do a great job of just holding circle here, playing his power position, playing his cover to be able to get this last kill. They know exactly where they are. There's two other teams here. It's basically a 2v1v1. So we got the assist. Last player's down below. So they're going to do a good job of playing power position. They do give up a little bit of cover, but they're still in a really good spot, and they know this player has to rotate right to them. They can't even... This enemy can't even stay behind the shack. So as we're kind of wrapping this game up here, he's going to go ahead and push down. He's going to challenge this guy. Doesn't really have to worry about gas damage or anything. He's just going to perfectly execute. He's going to center around the corner with the MP40, get this last kill. Just a perfectly executed console 20 bomb by John Mark here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found this video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today, and I will see you tomorrow.